Hey everyone, Martin here, and in this video, I wanted to update you guys with this uh, with the brand new 3D model of the Iceland volcano. Uh, this was, this was actually published last week, August eighth. Uh, I just didn't get a chance to make a video on it, so I'm gonna make it right now. Um, this is probably my favorite thing to kind of keep tabs on and and wait until they come up with a new one. Um, this 3D uh, model of the Iceland's volcano in the Fragadalsviak region. And if you're just uh, seeing this for the first time and wondering what this is, which I will navigate in a second, um, this model um, is created uh, by the photo the photo department at the Icelandic Institute of Natural History. Um, and it's developed in collaboration with the Civil Protection and Emergency Management of Iceland, the National Land Survey of Iceland, and the University of Iceland. They do an incredible, amazing job in putting together this absolutely, I mean, it's just, I, I love this map. This is, every time they update this, it is just amazing to see uh, the progression of the, of the volcano and the lava flow. I believe, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in just to see the volcano, and it looks like when they captured this version, uh, the volcano was kind of dormant, or it wasn't erupting. And this is because there was a time where uh, the volcano was just not um, erupting at all. There was no lava coming out. And um, it looks like this is when, when these images were captured. Everybody thought that the volcano was was over and and it just completely turned off but in fact um, it's just been doing it's been in cycles so it kind of goes off turns off and then it takes a little bit to come back on but when it comes back on it's it's again furious crazy eruptions but it, but as you can see here I'm zooming in it's almost like an overview top down of the inside of the volcano from this amazing 3d model and there is nothing going on. It's almost like it's sh everything shut off. The engines shut off. No more lava. But um, you could see the incredible um, coverage of all the lava that has been coming out in the region. And um, one of the things I noticed is let me just keep zooming out from this top top down view that now towards now the end of August the lava has progressed in moving more towards this side of the region which is the north side of the region and everybody's saying like it's going towards Reykjavik or the capital of Iceland but um, I mean by the time that gets to that area it's gonna be a very 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 long time uh, this doesn't move fast it's very very slow um, so for now you know as you can see a lot of the lava is concentrated now in this area here, which is the north. Whereas before in uh, May, uh, June, July, everybody uh, was projecting the lava moving towards more of the, towards the south, going into the road 427 and, and then going into the coast and dumping all the lava into the water and the ocean. But this area has slowed down dramatically. Um, and you can see a lot more of the lava is up here now in the north. They did do, uh, let me just rotate this and zoom in. As you can see here, they did create um, almost a barrier. Let me see if you guys can see it. Right here, there's a barrier that was created with all the soil to eventually kind of sl keep slowing it down it's, it is it is really it is really slow right now this could this could help it even slow down even more so so another interesting thing to to note here is if we zoom out and check out basically we people you could really clearly see the paths the paths people are taking to see the volcano so there's one path that goes around this mountain here and then eventually kind of goes close to the lava and reaches a point around this mountain here where you could see the volcano but the most popular 
uh, path is the one that everyone has taken, which is over here towards the right side, which then it's a little bit cut off, but you kind of go up a hill here or a mountain and and people just kind of walk through the the top of this mountain to get to this hill here up here which is the the highest vantage point and what's happening now as you can see is that there is a kind of like weak point where the lava is actually trying to go over the mountain and perhaps eventually cover this traditional path everyone's taken it's it's the standard path once this goes over this i guess you would say path would have to be diverted down this way and then eventually go up around this mountain and then eventually come up to continue the path so that's going to be another interesting thing to monitor and see i haven't seen any easter eggs any surprises any planes helicopters that uh we usually see here in the in the lava uh, so no surprises this time around for the model but uh, but yeah check it out I will leave the link in the description below you guys can fly around the model and uh, just observe it yourselves and have fun and uh, if you see something let me know in the comments but for now uh, take care have a great day and I will see you in the next video